Alright, welcome back here to the Kilted Texan. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little uh, do a little flashing tutorial for this here Mamba 405 stack. And uh, well, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how I do it. And I usually do it through the command line to actually get into bootloader mode. Now, there is a little button and you can just barely see it right past the tip of my finger underneath right next to that that USB port but that is a tiny little button you need to you, you can actually hold that button down and plug it in but I'm going to do it the easy way and because this 405 stack actually comes preloaded with Betaflight on it of some way shape or form uh, I'm going to go ahead and and just do it with the bootloader command from the CLI so what we can do we're going to go ahead and connect on in and you can see this thing is already loaded but uh, if you notice up here, this board is a Fury F4 OSD board. So that is the target we're going to want to use. We need to go ahead and kind of make a mental note there. I know some of y'all ain't got a whole lot of brain cells to store it like me. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try to remember Fury F4 OSD. Now there are two variants in here. So we just need to pick one, grit your teeth, and think of England. But uh, we're going to go ahead and crank this up. Um, the way to go in here and put it into bootloader mode is go ahead and go to CLI. And if we're in the CLI, we can go over here and we can type in BL for bootloader. Not BS because that is a completely different thing. Well, but I, I don't think it'll do anything in here anyway. But if we type BL, what this does, if we'll notice up here, now this sucker is in DFU mode. DFU mode, it's uh, using a bootloader that's actually on the chip. And this will allow us to completely flash the new firmware on here. Now, the way I do it, um, we'll go in here and we'll go to the firmware flasher. We'll go to update firmware. Okay. So, we can see here this is a Fury F4 OSD. Now, I'm going to go ahead and choose legacy. Uh, I'm assuming that's correct. I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sure what the difference is between the DIAT. I'm assuming that's diatone and legacy now uh, because mine may actually be considered a diatone i may have to double check that but um let's see here i don't believe my version is a diatone and i don't believe it is it is just a legacy f4 osd uh, fury f4 osd so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put uh, beta flight 411 on here and we will see how she goes now down here this is where it'll show you it's like all right um you know we can kind of see we're going to go ahead and load the firmware online and she's going to give us kind of a, a little synopsis of the different things in here so we can see the different fixes and the target updates and you know all this good stuff in here i don't think there's really anything specific but uh Anyway, so we got this in here. Now we can go ahead and select flash the firmware. Now, if we go ahead and hit flash firmware, it's going to go ahead and erase her. And she takes her time, so we need to be patient. And I'll tell you what, if, if you're not careful, you end up screwing it up. And then, you know, essentially your quad becomes a Waffle House meal, all scattered and chunked. So uh, we, we need to be uh, need to be nice and gentle with her and and give her some time. So she takes a little bit of time to flash. You just you just got to be patient and 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 and, and, and you just let her have her time. She's, she'll get there for you. So now I show that the program the programming was successful. So that's a plus. That is definitely a plus. Now on mine, we can go ahead and say, oh, it came up. I'm on COM 14. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. And because I already had a configuration on here before, all of my settings are pretty much set. So let me go in here to the ports. We say, oh, well, my GPS is gone. Um, all of my different configuration bits and, and bobs are all completely cleared out. So, um, and my OSD is clear and all that good stuff. So I have to go in here and redo all of my switches, lights, and knobs. But I can do that. It's not a big deal. But from there, you just go in and set her up just how you would set her up. And you are good to go with, uh, and, and this one right now is Beta Flight 411. And uh, other than that, Peter, I hope this helps you out. And y'all have a good day, all right? Uh,
Have fun. Caper in the air. <laughs>